It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From Spectrum Center in Uptown Charlotte, tonight, the Charlotte Hornets getting set to match up with the San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs control the tap. DeAndre Ayton. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Has a look. Just off the mark. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win the defensive battle. DeRozan with the basketball. Down two. Here comes the screen. Trying to cash in. Cleans it up. Offensive board. Rebound taken by Portis. Across the timeline, it's Rogier. Lead is two. Oh, emphatic slam. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. DeRozan with it. He'll run the offense. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. Old school equals high percentage. Match up, match up, match up. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. DeRozan. Wide open look won't go. He missed that shot on his own. The defense didn't do anything on that play to make him miss. Well defended. Shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. Oh, pass stolen by the Hornets. The pass set it all up. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Now whistle. San Antonio is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. And now one. Charlotte with the basketball. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point.
free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. To Brogdon. Screen comes, screen comes. Nothing going here on that drive. Brogdon. The Spurs with four in the shot clock. Come through, come through. Fires the three. Won't go for Brogdon. Had a hand in his face. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Lays it up and in. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. Here's lesson number one. When you allow a player like that the freedom of space to dance with the ball, there's no telling what kind of break dance move they might hit you with. Brogdon. Knock loose. Hornets come up with it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. And he finishes at the rim. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. San Antonio ball. To Stanley Johnson. Deep right corner. To Stanley Johnson. No good. Defense catching a break there. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. And they call the foul. Jay, he was there too late. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Stanley Johnson has got two shots coming for his career, 76% from the line. First one, count it. And he makes them both. Hornets have the basketball. Oh, yes, yeah, me and you, me and you. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. To Stanley Johnson. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Doesn't have the touch. No good. Time expires to end the first half. The Hornets have the lead. Halftime report. The Hornets have the first half lead after lighting up the scoreboard, getting bucket after bucket. Their offensive output has been amazing, and it doesn't look to be slowed anytime soon. They've been providing no shortage of highlights. Have a look at the leading scores for the Charlotte Hornets. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on the show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. Fellas, back to you. All set to go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. Rozier with it. His team on top by eight. 
A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go down. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. Working hard on the glass. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. I got him. I got ball. I got ball. Pick, pick it up. Pick, pick it up. Couple of cracks at the line now. This drives me nuts when I see fouls like that being called in a close game. Sometimes you just got to let them play, ref. And hits the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Oh, you in the gym, huh? Right now, San Antonio's possession. Here comes the screen. Goes to the right side. Five to shoot for San Antonio. Deep two there, won't go. Count the basket, a lot of contact, no foul. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane and create. Over to the right side, and that's going to get out of bounds. So the Spurs keep the basketball. New blood coming in for both sides. Substitutions. And a pass taken away by Charlotte to Rozier. A big finish at the rim. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. Feed to set up the basket. Shot, Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Hornets right now in possession. To Rogier. Double team. Here we go. Stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Right time, right player. Can't teach height. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Brogdon. Oh, Aaron Pass as it's taken away. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. on the first free throw. Goes two for two. Spurs have it. Nothing going here on that drive. Levert with a shot, no good. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a Come mental on. advantage over your defender. I got your help, I got your help. Don't worry, get on, get on, get on. 
Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. Whoops, that won't go. Ah, the monster stuff. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Spurs in possession. Gets to the basket and scores. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. It goes down. They'll let one fly from half court. That'll do it for the period. It's been all Hornets. It's the Spurs with the basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. And I think the best way to describe where they stand right now is they're down, but they're not out. It's a game we used to play in the league all the time. It's called a series of stops. That means get three stops in a row. Each game is a game within the game. You get three stops in a row, and then another three stops in a row, you're right back in this ball game. Give them two points. High percentage. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Slams it down. Good luck keeping up with that. Did you see that jump? It was as quick as a pogo stick. Here we go, here we go. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. To Rogier. Count it. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. A drive to the basket, but the shot rattles around and out. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Down for Smith. He throws it down. Spurs will take the timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. And that one.
got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Charlotte Hornets got the win with a comfortable scoring margin. They were very opportunistic on defense, and they earned them a bunch of steals. Those first turnovers made all of the difference. The Hornets got their points scoring from these guys on screen. Player of the game. When you see these highlights, it's easy to see how this guy earned the award. His impact on the game wasn't lost on anyone. 